Alright, so do a po popular demand. Everybody said this, so it's not my fault, okay? I'm gonna do a shake uh, tutorial today. It got it got a lot of likes, so I gotta do it. You know what I said last time? Um, the most liked or whatever comment uh, I'm gonna do next in my next tutorial. If I'm gonna do a next tutorial, god damn, I just put the I just put the fault on myself basically. Okay, so the thing is, a lot of people wanted me to do shakes. Twixter it, and to be honest a lot of people made fun of my fucking highness that time I don't know what the fuck was wrong with me the last video I think I was like under the influence of oxygen in my room or something because if you're using Sony Vegas this thing would have moved forget it yeah so today we're gonna do a shake tutorial I got my clips over here um, Yeah, so this is what I'm gonna be working with today. Uh, I might turn this into an edit. I don't know yet, but we'll see. So basically, uh, I have my thing over here, my clips without no shakes on them. Uh, just raw clips with Twixer. So uh, I'm gonna jump into it and I'm gonna uh, show you shakes. But I'm gonna show you Twitch, not S-Shake. Because I don't really work with S-Shake. I know how to use it, but I just don't. So we're gonna be working with Twitch. Twitch is, uh, it has some advantages. It doesn't really take that much of your CPU uh, power. S Shake does uh, take a little bit more. So if you have a bad PC, uh, use Twitch. But Twitch is better overall. I mean, it's faster. It's, um, I, I, in my opinion, it's better looking. Just because I know how to work with it um, well, so I can do it the way I want it to look. Okay, so let me show you the first. The first thing that you want to do once you have your clips, right? You have your clips over here on your timeline. Um, split it right at the time the the bass drop or whatever. So basically, what you're gonna do is make an adjustment layer. You don't put Twitch exactly on the clip because that's not good. Uh, you make it two frames. You make it one, two, right? Two frames after. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right there, and just. Uh, cut it with alt and bracket in my last tutorial. I told you how to use the alt and left bracket Okay, so um, Now that you have your adjustment layer over here just for the part that you want you're gonna move it upwards So it doesn't interfere with the clips. Okay. Now you're searching for twitch, right? I got uh, I got the video copilot twitch right here um, twitch preset um, not preset I can do a preset as well, but not now I'm gonna do that later uh, basically twitch is a plugin that you can get uh, for free obviously because you know we're cracking bastards we don't buy shit we just crack sh okay so we're poor basically that's <laughs> that's what it is and we can't afford twitch plugins and all that uh, it costs a shit ton of money okay so basically I don't condone let's just put that out there okay I don't condone to go and hack fucking adobe and after effects and all that i don't buy it like i did right i bought it i didn't i didn't shut the fuck i didn't steal it. okay so what you want to do is put the speed to 90 okay that's the first step uh the amount to zero obviously because we're gonna, we're gonna keyframe that so put the a keyframe on the amount press on that clock uh, stopwatch right then go to your clip press on your clip and press u just like that and your keyframe is right. This is noob stuff. I'm just, just teaching in case you don't know. I mean, if you don't know how to use Twitch, I kind of have to explain all this. Okay, so you click on enable right here, right? And you enable uh, one thing. Well, two things if you have a high hat in the... Like, hold up, let me show you. It doesn't... Like this, you know, the high hat, not the bass, not this. This is bass. You know? You don't need that. You just need the hi hat. So basically, what you want to do is enable slide, right? You enable slide, close enable, go to operator controls, and click on slide. So basically, you just leave it like that, right? And now you do your amount keyframes. Uh, you put one in the middle and one at the end of the clip. You press O to go at the end and I to go um, in front of the clip, like in the beginning. O and I, O and I, O and I. Okay, so basically you go to the middle and you change your amount to, I say, I'd say about if it's a hard base, you change it to 150, right? If it's a low base, not really noticeable, 
uh, you should put it at 90 to 100 or something like that. Okay, so you just you just see how it looks and whatever looks better for you, that's what you do. Basically, the slide direction. Ditch, uh, this, you're gonna put it at... Um, usually, I do 180. I just work with 180 and um, 90 degrees, right? So it goes like this or like this. That's how I like to... And slide spread, you're gonna change it to 0.3. So it have a, it has a little bit of size spread, but not too much, you know. Okay. Um, now you're gonna go into your graph editor. You're gonna press the first keyframe that you see, and you go to graph editor, right? All right. So you're gonna put the last keyframe. The last keyframe, you're gonna put it kind of like this, so it doesn't slow, stop too soon, but not too early either. Okay. So the the middle keyframe you're gonna put it a little bit like this, a little bit downwards, right? And the first keyframe, a little bit like that, right? So now you got your shake going for you right here, right? This is a hard bass shake, so if you want to slow down a little bit, you just go into your graph editor and click this and drag it all the way this side, like. You click here and you drag it all the way this side and that's basically what that does is this it stops it earlier right that looks pretty nice if you ask me all right now you're gonna go to each and every single base that you got in the song basically every single uh, shake that you're gonna put here you're gonna basically do the same thing right and when you have hi-hats like okay so basically i did these three i just copy pasted the clips that looks a lot more alive right this is hard based right so this is like beginner stuff you know so um if you want to work your shakes and like uh really give them your own type of uh, style or whatever you can do that obviously you don't have to follow like exactly what i tell you you have to just kind of get my idea and turn it into your thing you know and just like mess around your way and you know and all that all right so basically uh here i have a hi-hat it's kind of it's kind of not noticeable but what i'm gonna do for it it's basically or uh, it's if it's a change in the um, scenes and song I like to give it a little a little flavor, you know, because I don't like it to leave it like bland. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to show you this just because I'm going to put this to 50, right? Okay, so I'm going to put the slide direction to zero right here. Um, zero, why zero? Because it goes up, right? So it does this. It doesn't do that or that or that. It does this, right? All right, uh, I'm gonna put it to zero and the slice spread to zero as well uh, And basically what I'm gonna do is go into the graph editor put this all the way to the Center right there and this like that so it doesn't really do it for long right because it's just a, it's just a small hat But if you have high hats in your song very very important if you have high hats Enable the light it gives you so much more like mood and so much more like um, what's it called personality to your shake so basically let me just up that a little bit the light um, and that looks way better doesn't it okay and if you see that your shake is way too much over here right if you see your shakes do that just don't don't like don't be afraid to mess with your shakes because that's like really important. You just drop it down, right? You just get that keyframe closer and just drop it down like here. That looks way better, doesn't it? This, I need it to kind of leave me a little bit of space right here. So I'm just going to do that real quick. That looks way better. Okay, so these are the shakes, right? These are the twitch shakes. And if you have like a more a uh, hi hat transition or something, um, you basically let me show you. Okay, I'm gonna do one here, right? So I'm gonna copy paste this because I never do another. If I wanna do another shake, I never like 
create another adjustment layer and put the twitch again and do all that no i just i just duplicate my clip and uh work it from there so basically i have this what i'm gonna do is it's gonna i'm gonna uh, do the middle keyframe if i have a transition with hi-hat right i'm gonna put it to 200 right it's really strong and the light i'm gonna leave it at because it's really strong right and what else i'm gonna do is put this a little bit like that just a little bit You know what I mean? But this is not a hi-hat transition because it's just bass. But I'm just showing you just so you know. Right? So those are the shakes. Now, uh, if you want to do position shakes or um, I don't know, just something like that. Basically how you do it is, uh, let me show you a position shake. I'm gonna need a Twixter clip. Yeah, this is nice. Okay, so I'm gonna delete this shake that I just did, and I'm gonna uh, show you the position shake. So what you need for this is is just to put the um, uh, press P on your keyboard, bring up the position keyframe, right, and then you put the first keyframe at a like high, right, because it's gonna drop down. It's not gonna come up. It's gonna drop down and it's gonna do that, right? Um, you're gonna put this at like that. That should be fine. The next keyframe. You're gonna put it like this so it goes down a little bit after that you're gonna go two keyframes right you're gonna go a little bit like this but not too much right not too much you don't want to ruin your thing you're gonna go two keyframes and you're gonna go like this a little bit just a little bit and then you're gonna come up and reset the shake and then you just you can f9 them and easy ease them and basically you have this right and then if you don't want obviously you don't want the black bars do not fucking put any bar okay. if i see you with blender no i'm just kidding but it oh, hold on i hear my mic uh to get rid of the black bars you just add motion tide obviously motion tide is the savior of the world what would this world be without motion tile all right you put this to, I like to put it to 280, I don't know, just, it's just my preference. Uh, don't forget to mirror the edges and you have this. Um, okay, now another shake you can do. Uh, I'm gonna teach you a rotation shake, right? A rotation shake is basically, I'm gonna show you on this exact same clip, I'm just gonna reset the, the thing. Okay, so a rotation shake, what you have to do is pretty much what you what you did with the position, but it's a little bit different since it includes rotations, right? So basically you go to the first keyframe, you put it to minus five, right? You go one frame, you put it to four. You go one frame, no, you go two frames, you put it to minus three. You go two frames again, you put it to two. You go more than two frames and you put it to minus one. And then you go all the way to the middle and put it to zero. Basically, what you have by doing that is this. This is like a, a more like you can you kind of see like the pro editors or whatever uh, using this like the people that used after effects for a while and they know what they're doing you know uh, they use this with some blur and basically it looks really cool but you can play with these things around and basically get a different effect see that looks way better that's a that's the kind of shake that you know more experienced people use so i think that's kind of it for the shake tutorial i kind of showed you every single shake um i'm not gonna show you the s shake because don't use it it's pointless it it's slower it's uglier it, it's not any reason to use it i mean if you want to i mean do your thing you know if you're on svp or whatever i don't know why would you watch this tutorial if you're not on svp but whatever uh basically yeah that was the um, the twitch the twitch shake uh, with the high hats and bass and everything and that was the position and the rotation shake so hope you enjoyed this video uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that bull crap uh, don't forget to put in the comments what you want to see next obviously um, the most like comment i'm gonna do the next tutorial um so yeah thank you for watching and i'm gonna see you on the next one peace